difficult to watch somebody else's vlog and I was like, girl, where about your own vlog? My mama wish I would have been corporate, she wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Chef Evo and Montbeck. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring a set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring a D block, cause you know how sticky it gets. Hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. She told me to this is my Airbnb. Look at babe. We are about to head in. Okay guys, this is my Airbnb. It's so cute. Little kitchenette. It's a little stove top burner, period. And then there's the bed. There's babe. We got like a little kitchen stool situation. There's a closet right here. There is a mirror, which I love. I look crazy, so don't mind me. And then the bathroom is nice and clean, which I love. I have it spacious in here. Love the sink. Put all my stuff. Well, you have a blow dryer. Um, We're here, we're in Miami. Um, this bed is not that comfortable, which I'm kind of mad about, but it's okay. Especially because I booked it for two weeks, I shouldn't have done that. It's okay though, I'm still gonna sleep well, I need to cool off, I'm a little sweaty. Um, but we're here, babe did amazing on the plane. She gets so much fucking attention. It's kind of crazy. I was anxious the whole time. But everything was fine. The, the staff were really nice. Um, it is 12.30 here. Um, my flight got in a little bit late. I was supposed to land at 11 something. Plus baggage claim. But we did it. We made it. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe this is real. Um, what is my actual life? I couldn't tell you. Um, yeah, I am about to lay it on down and figure out. I'm about to lay it on down and buy, order some groceries so they, they can come in the morning. Um, and I have work in the morning. I wish I didn't. But I have some stuff that I need to like knock out. So I'll probably do that first thing in the morning. And then go about my day. I'm probably going to go to the beach tomorrow. I'm lying, no, I'm not. <laughs> not tomorrow, I'll probably go on Saturday. Um, and yeah, and just figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, this is fucking crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay guys, I got this place. What is it called? It isn't down here, but it got, it's called Yambo. And so I got a soda, carne asada, and some sides let's see this looks amazing it smells fucking amazing mm. this was like a recommendation this meat looks amazing it was a recommendation on over eats and it came quick oh about to tear that <laughs> good morning guys we are on our morning stroll and let me tell y'all well first off look at the sun glistening on me um <clears throat> come on come on come on come on babe keeps so she always likes to like jump at the little lizards but the lizards here are a little bit bigger than what we used to um Loki saw a lizard look like a it looked like a mini not even mini like a micro alligator but I wasn't trying to look too hard because don't come don't try to eat me but <clears throat> yeah, this little neighborhood that I'm in, it's cute. It reminds me of home, um, Cali. It's very, very Hispanic, Latin, Hispanic. It's very, very Hispanic. Um, yeah, it's the weather, it's warm, it's humid. It's not too humid, but it's warm, um, especially for it being 
it's only like 10 something so it's a little, it's a little, a little warm um but yeah i did not want to walk i wanted to just stay in bed i woke up early um i'm i'm yeah like i i went to sleep super late last night oh that's ugly i'm gonna stay this way i went to sleep it's like the palm trees i went to sleep super late last night i ordered some food um and then i woke up this morning at like seven this time so that's like five um it's seven this time so it's like i've been waking up around like six so like six houston time um yeah i decided to come for this walk and um i'm glad i did because the sun just like recharges but i'm definitely tired as fuck and feel like i need to rest today so that's gonna be what we do i just ordered some groceries so it's gonna come later um we're gonna rest and then tomorrow i'm gonna well today i'm gonna be like planning what i'm gonna do for the weekend and setting up my week for next week like finding stuff to do so yeah we're gonna be chilling and then figuring the rest out so say hi babe say hi mama say hi okay come on we're about to walk back to the to the crib come on hi guys um I was just here eating my little brunch brunch and I was like, I need to update people. I was about to watch somebody else's vlog and I was like, girl, where about your own vlog? Vlog, just kidding. Um, so today is day two. Um, sorry, this lighting is not the greatest. Yeah, it's just it's because that would be better, but I'm not facing that way, so. Um, but anyway. Um, as you see, I'm a little ready. I put on my lashes and my eyebrows because I'm gonna go out and about in a little bit to go run some errands. Um, I so yesterday was a rest day. I was in bed all day, um, quite exhausted, um, and you know trying to give myself grace. <clears throat> and then so today we are we're doing things, but we're slow as hell because it's two thirty. <laughs> And I'm barely making my brunch. Um, so good. Shout out to Walmart. I have Walmart Plus, so the delivery is free. So that's where I get my groceries from. Shout out to them. They're a lifesaver. Um, and um, yeah, I... I've been battling internally a little bit. One second. And the reason I've been battling is because obviously this is only my second day here, but I feel like I need to get up and get out and like do things. But I feel like the reason I need, I feel like I need to do that is for external validation. And so I'm, I'm like, ah, should I just lean into that or should I give myself grace? So I'm just, I'm, I've found a balance and I'm going to give myself grace. Um, and I'm just going to take it slow. You know, I dealt with this when I was in Houston too, um, hitting the ground running. And I, a lot of, a lot of scarcity things are popping up in my mind of like why I can't go here, why I shouldn't go there. And it's all bullshit to be honest with you. Um, and I felt the need to talk about it because when I talk out loud, I'm able to dispel the negative thoughts that are just trapped in my mind because it's like a loop of different things, just things like whispers of, of, um, of just fear, you know? And it's like, as fearless as I come off, I battle with it every day. Thoughts of, of, of me doing this or is this a good idea and things like, you know, should I do this or should I do that? It's it's a mess, honestly. Um, but <clears throat> one thing that I will say is that I'm learning to. I'm learning to decipher the negative voice versus what I truly want. And in that deciphering, it's helping me become better and more sound. Um, and I just listened to a video about what was that video called um bear with me 
how to find your purpose, live a life that ignites you, get out of get out of feeling stuck. And I often feel stuck, even though I know my purpose and I, I don't feel like I'm actively doing it right now. And so I feel like I'm in a loop of like, we keep on going over the same thing, same thing, same thing. And instead of getting frustrated with myself, I'm working through those things and like trying to not, um, not be so hard on myself because I'm doing the best that I can. Um, I'm always where I'm supposed to be. Like I'm in fucking Miami right now and it doesn't feel how I, how I didn't even know how I thought it would feel, but I know that like your present circumstance is not always, not even that. Um, I know that I know that I have a vision in my mind and I also know that it's going to take some time to get there and I have to be patient. Um, it just because I got on the flight and I'm here doesn't mean boom, I'm, her, I'm, I'm this new version. No, it's going to take some time, some growing, you know? Um, and so I'm just trying my best to honor that and to be, um, just be patient and graceful with myself because I deserve that. If if nobody else is going to give that to me, I need to give that to myself. So that's that. Um, also, in this video I watched, she talked about things that keep on bubbling up. And I keep thinking about being a DJ. Or DJing. Or doing that as a hobby. Um, I love music. I've loved it forever. If anyone knows me, they know that I love making playlists. So I make playlists. I've wanted to do this since I lived in LA. So it's been... I've wanted to do this since my earlier 20s and now that I'm creeping up on 30 there's this thought like I was I was listening to her I was like what keeps on coming up DJing keeps on coming up I see people that are DJs and they're older than me and I'm just like why do I think that I can't do this and I'm, now I'm realizing it's not me that's thinking that it's the negative thoughts it's my comfort zone and she also talked about um it not making sense to the way you want your life to be it doesn't have to make sense and me, I always feel like I have to make sense of everything. Like everything has to make, everything that I do has to coincide with one another. No, it doesn't. It truly doesn't. Um, I have a vision of what my life as a DJ would be. Um, like I would love to like DJ at cute little events, like fashion events or like um, conferences, like just, you know, cute shit. Like I went to this really cute um, um, wine was it a wine yeah a wine store opening in in um in houston and they had a dj and he was jamming the fuck out and i was like oh my god i would love for that to be me um so that's something that keeps on coming up that i'm i'm gonna start exploring um i've looked at dj like little the little board thing um i've looked at it a couple times and i found some really low cost ones and i have a laptop so like there's really no excuse um, the only thing I will say that's a hindrance is like, and I'm not in somewhere permanent right now. It doesn't have to be permanent, but I feel like long term enough to where if I'm buying this board, it can come with me and like, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to feel like I'm lugging a bunch of shit. Um, so I might, I might even just like try to find a compact one that I can start working with. Um, and I already create a monthly playlist so just like working with that and just like you know just just having fun like I want I wrote down that I wanted Miami to be fun and I feel like that is what's going to make me feel like it's going to be fun I want to DJ I want to DJ um at uh what's it called um a day party I think that that would be so fucking cool um I don't know I just I I know that like I want my life to be fun and so that feels like a fun thing for me you know and it's also like I'm not even gonna go there because it th that doesn't matter um yeah that's one of one of the things that I want to do so I feel like I'm here and it's it's like at the forefront of my mind being here in Miami so I guess I'm, that's part of what I'm gonna do um while I'm here that's something I'm gonna like kind of thrust myself into also I found this app called clicks and it's this um Miami based app and basically the, so the the founder of the app I saw an ad on TikTok the founder of the app um she started it because she wanted to get off of her phone and meet people in real life that's my whole thing right um and since I've been on it since yesterday like I've been in groups and like looking at a bunch of different things I can host things which 
if you know me, you know I love to do that. So I'm excited for all that's to come. And um, I'm just trying to be as vigilant as and as present as possible and allowing myself to um, take my time. Everything doesn't have to be fast paced. I don't need to be packing my days. I can I can be leisure and still live a, an abundant life, you know? So just finding a happy medium there. Um, as far as like getting out, out of the house today, what I'm going to do, I have to return this shirt to Target. So I'm gonna go to, to the to the um, nearest Target and it's in it's in a really cute area. So I'm gonna go over there, explore a little bit. There's a Trader Joe's there. Um, you know, just pick up a couple things and then, um, yeah, that'll be basically my day. I'll make a couple days, a, a couple hours out of it. And then um, I'm excited to get cute. So I'll show you guys my outfit. Um, and then I'm already like trying to curate birthday plans and stuff like that. So my birthday is literally in a week and, um, on Monday it'll be a week. So, um, yeah, I, this is where we're at on day two. This is where the mindset is. Um, I'm trying to, trying to make some shit shake, you know? Um, so yeah, stay tuned and I will show you the adventures of today. Bye. Okay guys, here's the fit. You know, little Aaron vibe. It's cute, comfy. Hi. For six? some really cute shit oh my god it's a dalmatian i've been seeing a lot of spotted dogs not here just in general um putting y'all on my tripod um but yeah it's cute like they have these little benches where i can come and sit which is nice it is humid my hair it like it never dried it was really wet but it's like still kind of wet it's weird the weather here is it's more humid than I'm used to for sure um but it's beautiful like so beautiful um it's definitely my sister asked me was it different it is it's definitely different um it is it feels like what it looks like on tv like this is giving me like bad boys <laughs> um yeah I I'm in Midtown right now this is where I would want to live for sure for sure would want to live over here down this way is like all it's the design district and it's like all the shops and stuff um so that would be really fucking cool um I didn't wear the right shoes to go over there so I'm just gonna keep it to this little shopping center I might grab a bite that place looks cute over there so i might grab a bite there's a couple places across the way also just might even like look at look because of where i'm where i am look at some of the places that i've been looking at on on facebook um and just see how close they are to here because if target's here yeah there's one place that I, actually is not that far from here because target's here and then trader joe's is literally like down the street so um yeah i feel like a fucking influencer with my tripod but you know what it is what it is that's what we're manifesting so i would love to bring babe to this park it's uh, there's a lot of dogs and she's not like used to that but still would love to bring her here um yeah this is a vibe oh my gosh i'm gonna try to get some footage of the dogs because they're so cute um two 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 um yeah We are 
are at an apartment tour and I'm so excited. This is the building right here. Um, it seems like it's close to a lot. The neighborhood is kind of cute, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm a little early, so I was like, let me just talk to the good people. Let's put this lighting together. Um, and let's talk to the people. In my outfit, I'm wearing this um, vest from Target. These jeans are thrifted. The sandals are from Target. I've been a Target girly lately. Um, the hair is, 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 she's doing her thing. Yeah, she's doing her thing. Um, I thought I lost these and I'm so glad I didn't because they're so cute and they like completed this look. So I'm feeling really good about that. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's cute. I need to survey the area and see exactly like where I am, what I'm in proximity to, but I did see the river on our way over here. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, so I'm about to, yeah, I'm still like nine minutes early, um, but I'm gonna hit up the guy and see if I can come up early, and then I will, I will potentially put a video of the of the unit in here. If not, um, I don't know. We'll see. So. Yeah. Yeah. I had 200 for lunch. Last night I fought on a cunt. No cap. 24 shows in a month. All right. Look at that time it was crunch. Ice, diamonds is crunching. Louis B, but my t shirt is tough. Top. Yeah. Cold as a slash. Belly rinse so on, sipping a test. Yeah. Go get it up, must. Fuck up, get in a pussy, no must. Yeah. Yeah. Love and I lust. My crew loyal, we trusted in us. Yeah. Money need up. Get that shit out, they come in a month. trying to go to Bayfront Park and got lost on the fucking trail the trains um so now I'm going to Joan the Jews I've never been um and gonna try a tuna spicy tuna cotto I'm hoping that the food will make me feel better I need food and coffee um because I just want to go home now um it's fucking hot <laughs> and humid and sticky I wore the wrong thing like I just my hair is a mess. I'm kind of over it, but I'm trying to push through. So let's hope John the Juice gives me all vibes. And see what I mean. I gotta be facing. I'm pink and green. Fuck on the neck. What's on the screen? Cross on the car. Three care for the dreams. Feel like a plug, keep a trick on my sleeve. I'm cool on you, drunk, cause I don't want to flee. I'm smoking it, gotta get, don't gotta see. Been in the roof, and I can feel the breeze. Pockets got nachos, that's some chili cheese. Smoke on gelato, got me feeling knees. My car that rolling for my oldest knees. I drop a hit, I'm knowing what they need. I check out the motor, gotta have some speed. Do it by focus, I can see the feed. Cash running over, I can feel the greed. I had 200 for lunch. That's not I put on a cunt. Twenty four shows in a month. We got to join the juice. I'm really excited to try. This is a an ice vanilla latte. The coffee is really good. Gotta, gotta stir it to taste the vanilla.
I don't ever eat tuna like from anywhere. The bread is so good. It's definitely worth the hype. But it's just tasty. so the next time I'm going to try the club. I hate these because they fuck up the straw. Yeah, this is cute. And really good. So, it's really cute in here. Um, I'm probably going to head home after this because I'm tired. Um, and it's hot, but... Like, if it was close to sunset, I would stay out, but it's not, so. Um, and, I'm, and my phone's gonna die, so I have to head home. I would try to throw it out if I had my charger, but I don't. I, didn't, I was not prepared. So, I'm gonna eat this and enjoy myself. I'm gonna journal a little bit. And then head home. I know Babe misses me. Um, yeah, I'm. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. The um, apartment that I went to see was really cute. Uh, I told the guy that I really want it. It's in a great location. Um, it's like it's like not that far from downtown. Um, it is, yeah, it's in a nice location, I think. It's like, it was like a five minute Uber to get to Bayfront Park from my, from the place. See, I'm already claiming it from my, from my new, my new place. Um, I'll also look up. Hardly home, but always repping. Um, so, God willing, everything with that works out. He said he had a couple more people that were looking at it, but I don't know how serious those people were. Um. And so I guess we'll just we'll see what happens. Um, the price is really good. It's a great building. There, there's a pool. It has amenities. Like I would love it. And it's until May. So yeah, um, they're gonna ask about babe. I mean, it's emotional support, so she should be fine. But yeah, um, it is. It is what it is. Um, there was another another place, and that one is in Midtown, which I really like that area. Um, because it's, it's by Trader Joe's, it's by Target, it's by all the shops. So I love that area a lot. That would be another contender um, if I can get a hold of this thing. So we shall see what happens. The search will continue back to work tomorrow. So um, I'm just going to be taking up, soaking up my whole weekend and figuring out how I'm going to navigate the rest of this life. But I mean, I'll talk to you guys more as the days go on so good that time was crunch ice that is crunch we be but my t-shirt is tough yeah cold as a slash